Joseph Pilates is looking around at the modern world of 1934 and he sees what he feels is needless suffering. His fellow humans are suffering from disease and discomfort and what he calls deformities. It's amazing that chapter two in the book was written over 80 years or almost 80 years ago because the subject is so, so prevalent for today in fact, a little more so. As teachers, we give health, we give joy, we give purpose. That's our gift to give. Nature is about efficiency, and so we'll naturally do things that are more efficient rather than less efficient. We have a an instinctual way of knowing how to help ourselves the way animals do and that's what he spoke about very very clearly in this chapter my belief in this man's work is so so strong that if we follow joe's guidelines we would change our mind and then we can change the world pilates is mental and physical conditioning through this conditioning we receive maximum results with the minimal expenditure of both physical and mental energy. Those of bodies being proper hygiene, you're going to prevent certain illnesses, you're going to create a very strong immune system, and you're going to also prevent certain types of viruses and bacteria of flourishing in the body. Joseph Pilates is extremely passionate, outspoken, and opinionated on the topic. Stay with Pilates, he's about the whole body, and I'm still coming into mine at 90.